one of the problems with having such an amazing university experience is that when it ends you're suddenly like oh what now i haven't been able to meet new people properly because i've been stuck at home and i guess it's just quite lonely it's been a massive contrast to my life at university being an actuary is not the easy option <laughs> Hello everybody, so as a lot of you will know, this year I have transitioned from Cambridge University student to a trainee actuary. I have graduated from uni and started a full-time job. I thought since we're approaching the end of the year, I would discuss how I've found that transition. I'm going to be really brutally honest in this video because the fact of the matter is I have found the transition really tough. And even without a pandemic, I think leaving university and starting a full-time job can be a bit of a shock. So I thought, let's chat about it. I've also got some wrapping to do because Christmas is approaching, guys. If you're one of my family members, please stop watching this video now so you don't find out what you're getting for Christmas. Before I get started, I just want to make a quick disclaimer. I am incredibly grateful for the job that I have. I work for an amazing company and I know I'm really lucky to have work, to have a space to work at home, to have food. Not all families have that. I guess what I'm saying is that although I have found this year tough, everything has not been peachy. I know that in the grand scheme of things, I am very grateful to be in the position that I am. First present I'm going to wrap is an omelette machine for my grandma. <laughs> so I'm working in insurance and I didn't expect it to be exciting and honestly it hasn't been exciting. At university I always found my course content incredibly interesting because it was astrophysics and who doesn't find stars and planets and cosmology interesting? My work these days is concentrating on incurred insurance claims and paid insurance claims and projecting those and it just doesn't have the same excitement to it. But as I said, I expected that, so fine. My personal responsibilities tend to be data processing and data processing might not appear to be the most technically challenging work at first, but actually when you're completely new to it and you have to learn to use completely new software and become familiarized with a process you haven't seen before, it does still take quite a lot of brain power. I think the thing that's most overwhelming with my job is how much industry knowledge and statistical knowledge that all goes into analysis. It's definitely a career path where you would never stop learning. It seems the people I am working with are so intelligent. That has not changed from when I was at uni. At Cambridge, I was surrounded by so many really clever people and same situation in my new job. I'm kind of in awe of a lot of them because they just think so quickly. I know some of them have years of experience and that just comes with time but at the moment I'm sat here like how am I ever going to become as knowledgeable as you and as good at this statistical analysis as you and have all these coding skills and communication skills and just yeah. But I, I like that. I feel like there's so much room for development in this job and I've learned so much already. Learning hasn't stopped now I've left university, you know? Even things like how to write emails, how to hold myself in a corporate setting and attend client meetings and take meeting notes. It's been great experience and the conclusion is being an actuary is not the easy option <laughs> at all. It's not me going, ah, astrophysics is too hard, let's be an actuary instead. Actuarial work is really complex. I do feel really supported though in my day-to-day -day work. There's loads of people in my team who encourage me to ask them questions whenever I like. It's like having multiple personal shooters who I can just reach out to at any point in the day and be pretty sure that one of them is going to respond within five minutes. And I do quite like the team aspect of the work. On my project I work in teams and I have to keep them updated with my progress and we work together on things. I guess that's different to uni when I always was just working in individually on assignments. It feels like there's a joint responsibility to deliver the final product to the clients. So some of the work has been good. I just, 
A really big thing for me is that I don't find the work thrilling, whereas at university I did find what I was studying thrilling. And it's just getting used to the fact that I'm not so excited about my day-to-day -day work as I used to be. The pressure on me feels a lot less than it was in Cambridge. I just feel like people explain things to me so slowly, if necessary, and don't have huge expectations of me. They're really patient with me, they encourage questions, and it is just so refreshing. My stress levels, relating to work at least, have been the lowest they've ever been in a long time. I obviously do have objectives to hit at work, I will get performance reviews, and I am trying my best. My work ethic has not gone anywhere but I just feel a lot less inadequate and like I'm doing an okay job. Okay, the next thing I'm going to wrap is some exercise bands for my sister. I think the flow of work has changed a bit from uni because in my new job, there are some busy periods, some quiet periods. It is kind of hard to judge at the moment how much I should be taking on. When signing up to a project, you are given a rough idea of the hours it will involve but they're not always accurate it's always an estimate and because i'm fresh into the job i haven't really had the experience before to know how long i think a task might take me at university during term time i had a pretty steady flow of work i had two problem sheets per week say and 12 lectures per week and i knew that was happening every week i could plan ahead whereas in this new job I, I have no idea what's around the corner. As I said at the start of the video, I found the transition from uni to working life quite tough. The root of this issue is probably the social side of things. I haven't been into an office yet and my new job has literally all been working remotely, working from home. The remote working setup has been fine for learning the ropes in my new job and I don't feel like I've been held back in my progress or anything by working remotely. But to be honest, remote working has just been really, really isolating. What I really liked about the company I'm at now when I interned there in 2019 was the social side of things, how friendly the office was. We were always going out for pub trips. They do fun summer parties, Christmas parties, even just lunch breaks, going for lunch breaks in the park everyone was up for a chat throughout the day and there were loads of young people in the office just so many opportunities to make new connections make new friends that's all kind of been stripped away i haven't been able to meet new people properly because i've been stuck at home and i haven't been able to see my old friends because i can't travel and there's lots of social distancing restrictions so i'm just in a position where I basically see no one. And I guess it's just quite lonely. It's been a massive contrast to my life at university where I was seeing people every single day, socialising every single day. And honestly, I've struggled with it. I have tried to make the best of it. I've had virtual catch-ups and coffee breaks and lunch breaks with my new colleagues to try to get to know people but it's just not the same as seeing people in person. It's just such a weird situation that I've been working there for what September, October, November, December. Coming up to four months now and I don't really know anyone that well. I can get a little bit anxious when meeting new people anyway so it's just been even tougher having to speak to people who I don't really know over the phone for the first time. And yeah, I've also been extremely cautious with COVID and very strict on following all of the government guidance as everyone should be really. But even when there's been in-person events, I haven't gone and it's not because I don't want to meet people, it's not because I'm being antisocial, it's because I hate the thought of my actions hurting other people and spreading COVID when I could literally just stay at home, you know, I just don't want to be selfish. It just, it really sucks that I haven't been able to see old friends, it makes you start questioning how strong are my friendships with people? Do people still want to be friends with me? Am I going to come out of this pandemic not knowing people? Because, you know, when you spend time away from people, do they just forget you, you know? It's just so easy to get wound up in your own little insecurities when you're sitting at home by yourself. My living situation is also an interesting one. So I'm living with my parents, as I've said before, 
and I get on so well with my parents and I'm very grateful to them that they're letting me stay with them. But the thing is, I lived with my parents for 18 years prior to going to university and I just feel ready for the change, you know? While I was at uni, I was living with other people my age and I enjoyed that so much. There were so many jokes, there were so many games. I felt like I learned a lot from other people as well, just from conversations I had with other people my age. I just miss living with other young people. I feel a little bit like I've morphed into a middle-aged woman while <laughs> living at home with my parents. I'm watching Strictly Come Dancing every Saturday and I'm going to bed really early every evening. I just feel like I've just skipped my youth. I mean, to be fair, graduating in 2020 has been a bit of a rough deal, to be honest. I just felt like after such an intense university experience, I wanted the summer just to have some fun and to blow off some steam before starting a job, and I couldn't. And now I'm stuck in a full-time job where I only get a few weeks of holiday per year. My working hours are now a lot more structured than they were at uni. I'm working nine to five, Monday to Friday, as opposed to whenever the hell I wanted to at uni. The early starts of nine o'clock actually aren't that early because I don't have a commute to work. That's one perk of working from home. So I can roll out of bed at 8.15 and start my working day at nine. I'm suddenly not procrastinating anymore like I did at uni. I think because my working time was so flexible, I just spent a lot of time not focusing and getting distracted. Whereas now I've got a job, I mean, I'm being paid to do my work, so I wouldn't procrastinate. And I also think it's a side effect of the work feeling more doable. And if the work's not as big a mountain to climb, it's just easier to get on with. Comparing the work-life balance to uni, I feel like I was working for longer hours at uni, but also every spare moment I had that wasn't doing work at uni, I was socialising or fitting in hobbies or my life was just jam-packed with stuff to do. Whereas now, my work is very nicely kept within the confines of nine till six, Monday to Friday. But then I have the weekends and evenings free and I just have nothing to do with them. I just wish I could be out coxing on the river or something at my weekend, but I can't. I appreciate having the weekends and evenings off, but... I don't really feel like I've been able to take full advantage of them yet. Last present I'm gonna wrap is storage containers for my parents to store pasta in. So I'm now getting paid for my work rather than accumulating debt, which is actually quite a good feeling. Although in recent months, I haven't actually spent a lot. I pay a little bit of rent to my parents every month. I suppose I have a few monthly subscriptions that I pay for, but really I don't have a lot of expenditure at the moment. So it's good, I'm, I'm building up my savings. And there's also the small matter of paying off my student loan. My university course was 9250 per year in tuition fees. I'm starting to pay that off each month now. And finally, I thought I would touch on the actuarial exams that I'm studying for and the study days that I've been taking. The level of the course content for the actuarial exams so far is a lot lower than the level of the work I was doing at Cambridge. I'm starting from the basics, I'm starting from scratch with this stats stuff, but I am very, very, very confident that the work is going to get a lot harder. My study days, which I take roughly once a week, don't feel that different to a normal working day. Just because I'm sat at my same desk, I just don't log on to my computer like usual. The idea I had in my mind for starting this job was that the study days would be a nice break from the office. And obviously I don't really need that break from the office anymore because I'm not in the office in the first place. To be honest, I find my study days the loneliest of all the days because I don't even call up colleagues for work on client projects because I'm literally just studying by myself. I would have been having in-person tutorial classes as well and been able to meet other people studying for the actuarial exams and people working at different companies and get to share experiences. But I haven't had that either because tutorials are all online and we don't even have video calls for the tutorials. They're all done in this kind of chat room setup. So the only interaction we could possibly have with each other is 
messaging, sending messages to each other on this chat room. I am actually quite pleased though that I still have some studying to do. It's easy to get rusty at maths when you don't practice it for a while. So I'm pleased that I've got this study course to keep me on my toes. The big problem at the moment is I'm still missing university a lot. One of the problems with having such an amazing university experience is that when it ends, you're suddenly like, oh, what now? And with the current world situation, this new chapter, this new job, never really stood a chance. How I feel about my new work and how it compares to university is not the fault of my job or my colleagues. It's a product of the pandemic and I know I'm not alone in feeling this way. I'm not going to feel sorry for myself. I'm going to remain positive about going forwards. Things are going to get better. That's kind of all I had to say really. I thought I'd share my thoughts in case anyone else is feeling the same way. If anyone watching has recently gone through the transition from university to graduate life then I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. It's a big lifestyle change so of course it's going to take some getting used to. Give the video a like and subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate it. Follow my Instagram as well, I'll leave a link to that in the description of this video. And yeah, thank you very much for watching me ramble on about my experiences this year.